Yeah, this is a short video of the 1938 era South Bend lathe. Of course, made in the USA. Very precise machine tool. Everything works really smooth. Uh, pretty amazing, actually. It's got all these little caps you lift up to drop oil in. Comes with the uh, flat belt lacing tool kit. And that's to lace that rubber if that belt breaks. They got all different widths. And there's a, a little rack here that's got, I guess, for all different size drill bits. Von Dutch put his pinstriping touches on it. He was also a gunsmith, a motorcycle mechanic, and as everybody knows, a pinstriper. And they say he. All his machines he made work top notch or he'd take them apart and kind of redo them. I noticed there's a little, little stamp in here that says Germany. And I believe that's a hardened steel. Um, I don't even know what you call it, but it holds the one inch collets. Um, I'm going to turn it on so you can see it go. It's got a um, forward and reverse switch right there at the top. And you can change the gear ratios. You can see the different pulley sizes. But this right here puts tension on the pulley. And that turns it on. It's got an old style electric motor. Still got some metal filings. But it's all fully functional. It's quite a work of art. The bench comes with it, and it's also got a cart underneath it so it can be pushed around because it is really heavy. This is that lacing tool toolbox. I'm going to turn this off. I'm not a machinist, so I can't really cut something or show you how to, how to do that. But I just want you to see that it does work. And that's the reverse switch. But it's all got, got all kinds of gear ratios and stuff for cutting threads. You old school machinists will know exactly what all this does. There's a rack back here that holds some different tools. And I thought this was interesting. It's just an old wrench, but it looks like he bent it and he wrote on there, it says present for the Sheldon. Don't know what that means or even what that's all about. There are old uh, goggles, kind of a vintage light. And all these little machined, looks like aluminum pieces where you, I don't know how you do it with a little drill bit or something to make these little designs. Um, I've seen that on some of his other works, so he probably built these, these little stands here. And they said Von Dutch wasn't a very nice person, but he was a very talented person. He also had a bus, and he had another lathe in his bus. I'm told he had a lathe in his house and a lathe in his bus, and the city was making him move his equipment out of the house, and that's what prompted him to set up a little machine shop in his bus where he could move it around. He bought a, I believe it was a city bus, old 60s bus. In fact, that bus sold at Barrett-Jackson in really bad disrepair for something like forty thousand dollars and somebody has taken it and restored it and they're going to put it on start putting it on display von dutch even did some work for steve mcqueen on some of his motorcycles and he had a truck that he built and they gave it a nickname and i don't recall what it was but one feature it had because he was a big beer drinker he had a place in the console he could open the console up and throw his beer cans out on the highway so like I said he wouldn't uh, he wasn't the greatest person but he did hang out with the likes of Big Daddy Roth back in the 60s and was part of the car culture of the time but this is a, a really neat piece of equipment it's very old it works good um, if you have a car collection especially some vintage stuff it kind of fits right into the to the scheme of things um, and this was purchased at an auction back in like 2006. Um, 
brought pretty decent money. But we're gonna sell it right here on Bring a Trailer. Um, if you're gonna ask me a bunch of machinist questions, I probably can't answer them. But I can tell you that the, the lathe is in very good shape and everything feels very, very precise. I mean, it's amazing. It's as old as it is and it's as good as it is. But it's just good old USA quality. There's a little number stamped here, 87354. And over here there's a catalog number. It says catalog 459R. And we looked that up in the catalog and it kind of gave the dimensions of the machine. And the catalog is from 1938. So the best we can tell it's a 1938 lathe. But I hope you have a great day. This is a work of art and the cabinet does come with it. And all the, the tooling that you see here in the pictures, the 1938 South Bend catalog. But if you want to get a piece of history, automotive history, tied to the uh, Von Dutch, who is now noted for all the clothing, his kids kind of took the name and moved forward and it's all about the hats and purses and clothing. But have a great day. If you have any questions, we'll do our best to get you the information. I'm Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails.